Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Rod's VW Garage. Uh, today, I'm going to work on the last little bit of details before I get to the roof. So, I'm uh, uh, just clean up this area right here. Uh, I'm cleaning up the, the front end and this right here. Uh, hammer and dolly the front end here because it was uh, it was dented a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm over here working on this. I put a little bit of guide coat and you can see there's a little low spot right here. All right. And a little low spot over here. So, uh, that's where I'm at. And I, like I said before, I'm going to go, I'm going to work it around and, uh, looking for low and high spots around the area. And then I'm going to move, move on to the roof. Uh, so, uh. Uh, it's looking it's looking good it's looking good and uh it seems like you know i'm getting the hang of it uh it's not easy it's not easy but uh i'm getting there i guess uh i would say so uh so i gotta work this metal a little bit here you see there's a little low spot here uh and there uh on the door i gotta fix this little nick right here and I got to fix this right here. It's a little low spot. Other than that, I think the door is okay. The door is fine. I like it. So let's move on. Uh, and uh, and hopefully hopefully we get this done so we can go ahead and prime it. Because I, I can't wait to get a prime. I, I, I don't like seeing it this color. Uh, another thing. Um. I was gonna ask you folks, what should I do for what should I do for color? I was thinking of doing the uh, Horizon Blue, but you gotta remember this is a '57. There's plenty of '57s, and a whole bunch of them are blue. So not a whole lot of people like blue. Uh, I do like blue, but I, I think I was thinking of going blue but not horizon i think i was going with a different shade of blue uh modern blue uh, we'll see uh i want even though it's gonna be all period correct i'm not sure if uh if uh you know is keep if keeping it you know this this you know another one of the same when I park into a next uh, next to a car, it just looks like that one, you know. I, I don't know. So, uh, what what are your thoughts? Let me know. Let me know. Okay. Well, I'll see you in a bit. Hello, guys. Uh, I'm back, and uh, here I'm almost done with this uh, roof, and what I can feel. It's really, really smooth. Uh, this is uh, 120 that I'm uh, using right now. And I can, it, it feels really, really, really smooth. So, um, I just got a, a couple of uh, spots that I need to, you know, uh, rectify. I got one here, and one over there, and one over there, but that's it. And then the roof will be, We'll be done for now. Then after that, we're going to clean it. I'm going to go around the whole entire car. And uh, I got the door completely done. Got a, little low, a couple low spots there. And, and now it's done. And I sanded this right here with the 120. Sanded the other side 120. And I'm going to go like areas like this. I'm going to... I'm going to hit it with the uh, DA sander with 80 and uh, just move it out and ensure that it's uh, that we don't have all these bumps because that's going to show. Uh, so it's just doing the uh, final details and ensuring that everything is sanded ready to for the uh, I'm going to I'm going to wash it or uh, wipe it I would say with uh Windex. I'll wipe the whole thing down 
and uh, just get all the uh, all the grease and whatever is there. I gotta hit just a couple of rust spots. That's where where I go around and I touch it. I'm sweating, and uh, you, it creates a rust spot. So it's just for surface rust. So, but everything else, uh, it looks really good. So after this, after I get the roof done and all this stuff done, I'm gonna move to the, uh, I got two things left. I have this hood that I gotta finish this right here that I started. And then I gotta, I gotta fix, there's a couple bumps here. And uh, I'm just gotta come in uh, uh, with a dolly and a hammer and uh, wax some in and then we're gonna we're gonna put a little coat of uh, filler to smooth it out. Uh, another thing we gotta do is this fender right here. This is the front left fender. I gotta mount it on the car and we're gonna mount it on the car and then I'm gonna do the body work on it. And then after I do the body work, uh, I'll take it back off. So this morning I hit the, uh, just little scratches I had with uh, some putty uh, and it turned out really, really nice. And that's it. Uh, that's, that's where we at now. You see right here, we got a little air bubbles and stuff so i'm gonna get those done and right here just this area right here i gotta hit it again man but i'm telling you it's looking really good all right so let's move on hey guys i'm back uh i'm working on this uh actually i got the roof done the roof is done. It's nice and smooth. Uh, it didn't take much. And it looks really nice. Uh, you see three colors of different fillers. But I had some Eastwood that I used. It was kind of like a yellowish. But I was still using that one over there. And it's this uh, light gray. And this right here is the putty. So... I use the putty when there's a, a transition that needs to be fixed. Uh, it's already uh, sanded and it looks good, man. It's, it's really nice. It's got a couple hello spots, but I think the 2K is going to take it. So I'm working on the fender. Uh, this fender, I don't know if you remember, this fender was bad. This fender it seemed like somebody ran over it this way like that uh it ran and it was all crushed so but i man i'm telling you i put a lot of hours into this fender but it's uh really really smooth and it's uh i purchased that uh the english wheel and i used it back and forth back and forth and i, I got it I got it where it's very, very smooth. So, uh, everything needs body work though. Everything needs body work. So if you want, you know, the stuff to look laser straight, you have to use body, uh, you have to do body work. You have to use uh, filler. And, uh, and I don't know, I, I, I'm not too good at it. Uh, it seems like uh, I don't have enough time to get this thing, uh, you know, mix and put on the on the part, and it's already hard. It's it's just I, I'm not good at it, and I'm not bitching. I, I just, you know, I don't like it. I really don't like it. It's probably that's probably the reason why. It, but anyways, man, horse flies. So. All I got to do is just sand this. I'm waiting for it to dry. And I uh, sand it down. Get get away from me. It's a horse fly messing around, messing around. So that fender is done. I uh, sanded this with 180. Uh, the roof is sanded with uh, 180. Everything back here is sanded. Uh, everything back here is done. 
the door is done. So, all I got to do is get this hood back on the car. And I'll probably, what I'm going to do is, I got to get those two fenders, the rear fenders on the car and look at them. And I sand them down and see if uh, they need filler. But it seems like it, they don't need much. I think uh, the primer is going to take care of, of that. Uh, that fender was done. So I got to put that back on the car. But I got to do... I was thinking of how to do a little, a little curtain here. A little booth. So I'm going I'm to run some... Uh, I got some... Uh, uh some plastic i'm gonna run over here on the, both sides like this and i'm gonna close it and then i'm gonna drop my door down and put two fans there and i'm gonna go ahead gonna go ahead and spray it uh that's uh probably what i'm gonna do within the next couple days uh tomorrow if everything goes well uh we're gonna do uh the hood finish the hood and then after we finish the hood well uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, put a temporary booth here, and I'm um, I'm gonna do my uh, uh, my ceiling or my uh, epoxy sealer. Also, I gotta get some of that uh, um, what's that sealer called? Uh, the joint sealer. I gotta put joint sealer. You know, all across this uh, areas that needs uh, uh, a fender or body body fill. Uh, it's not body filler. Man, I'm I'm fumbling here. Let me see. Oh Jesus! I'm really tired. Right here, seam sealer. Jeez. I got another one here. Okay. Yeah. So I got to do uh, seam sealer and seal all the areas because. Uh, like from the factory you can see from here in inward that's supposed to have seam sealer and uh but other than that you can sand this bad boy down for the day get it done uh and then after i do that i'm gonna go ahead and and get that uh that hood over on the table and I'm gonna start doing the body, body work on, on the hood. And then after that, I gotta flip it around and I gotta sand the inside because uh, uh, I haven't sanded the inside. So I need to sand the inside of the hood because I sanded the outside because I had the chicken finger. The inside of the hood has got the original paint. And uh, I need to sand it. So, anyways, uh, I gotta get that done. Also, the uh, the deck lid, I need to sand or scuff it. And then after that, hopefully in two days, I'm gonna do all that stuff tomorrow. I'm gonna sand, I'm gonna sand that that hood. Uh, do the body work, sand it on the inside, sand the deck lid, get it ready to go. And then after I do that, I'm going to do the seam sealer, uh, seal. After the seam seal is done, I'm going to get this uh, ready uh, for a painting. And we're going we're gonna to epoxy seal it. And then after that, let it cure for a day. And then I'm gonna put right on top of the epoxy sealer, I'm gonna put a uh, uh, 2K right on top of it. And then I'm gonna sand away, I'm gonna block it. And, and we'll see how it looks. All right, folks, uh, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, I hope, you know, you keep enjoying the videos and stuff like that. Uh, this video didn't have much, but some of the work I've, done, I've been doing to the car so uh let's you know let's get to it man and uh and uh get it done all right